that, boys? Damn, they got all these cones out today. They painted the road. Do you guys ever just go out in the morning, you know, you start your car that you haven't driven in like a month, and uh, it starts smoking under the hood, and, you know, about catches on fire, and turns out the alternator locked up on the Accord, so I gotta go tow that today. I'm gonna tow that to the shop, because from now on, I'm just gonna start paying someone to do like all of the maintenance on the cars and stuff. So the next six or seven weeks, I'm gonna try to run PA to Florida and back, I-95 and I need to do it in five days. So that's gonna be pretty much the plan. Um, I wanna work Tuesday to Saturday for the next six or seven weeks, just because of a consistent basis. And that means I cannot take anything out of my area. I cannot veer off a 95. Um, I can go out to New Jersey, pick stuff up, but I can't go anything west of 75 in Florida and nothing west or anything on 95 going down. But yeah, so we're gonna go grab the trailer now. I'm gonna go get the tires mounted for my spare and we'll go from there. So let's go get this all done and get back and get the Accord. We're gonna get the to tow today with a single car trailer. All right, here's the tires. I'm gonna get this thing swapped off. Put this one on and then get rid of the rubber on this guy here. So in case we do need to go buy a spare, but we're gonna start working on getting a mount for this tire here. So we'll talk about that later. All right, we're gonna see how close his guidance was. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Look at that. Got her dead on. Here, excuse me. Let's put this this guy down. I wasn't expecting it to go that easily. But we gotta go get the Accord because uh, we don't drive it enough. And there's no alternator on it now, so. Why can't you drive it? Oh, man, gotta push this back. cars are broken down well we fixed the crv so i threw the, threw the trailer battery in that and then the honda accord whoops honda accord broken let's go get it all right let's see if she starts basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take it and put it over on the trailer there we go gonna turn that off it starts Oh man, get her over on the trailer and we'll go from there. This thing's gonna get refurbished and whatnot. We're gonna go through this thing. Probably give it a nice new interior, do the body work on it. You know, it's just a little shit box, but she works good for what it needs to do. All right, you gonna hook that strap on, Liam? Oh man, oh this little thing that got me spoiled. Ugh. Honda back there. Lug the shit out of fourth gear. Oh, she be chiefing. Oh, man. Definitely need to do some tuning adjustments because now that with smoke screws gone, done, now I'm going to have to start messing with the AFC again, get some of that fueling out. Just had a three deer run out in front of me and I got within a foot of the one. Like I could almost not see him with the bumper and he got out of the way in time. Oof, that was close. She's still back there, hasn't fallen off. Gonna take me time to relearn this little dinky flatbed. So I've realized that it's just easier to pay somebody to work on your cheap little dumb stuff when you only have two days off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Everything is going to be I'm gonna just pay somebody to do everything. So, and then on my own equipment, I'll work on my truck and trailer, but like my cars and stuff, I'll just pay somebody for that. That makes it so much easier. So, I'm gonna go, uh, like I said, we're gonna get this thing dropped off. We'll go from there. I hate these gauges because they will not stay green to save my life. I hate these. I cannot wait to get the bank side dash and get rid of that oil pressure gauge and the check gauges light and the check engine light. Can't wait to get rid of it. So, this truck is pretty much always gonna have a mechanical engine in it, so that makes sense to keep that stuff. Climbing a mountain, don't even feel the weight behind me. I'm sure my exhaust gas temps do. Damn, you guys can't see anything. Here, let me, oh, I can't put it in reverse either, oh my hell. Here you go, here she is. 
I'm gonna get this thing dropped. Hopefully I'm done looking at it for a while and we can get it fixed. By the way, speaking of semi drivers with uh, many years of experience, you guys see this tail light here. Semi driver hit this trailer too. Look at that, nice tail light here. That part's on back order. So that sucks, but let's get this thing down. All right, well there she goes. This is a nice little car though, to tell you the truth. So it's like, we'll just get it fixed and uh, keep going from there. Shouldn't cost all that much to throw an alternator on it. And yeah, so can't wait to have it back. Well, on second thought, she's gonna be left in here tonight. So this thing, uh, we gotta pull the carpet out of this because the carpet's kind of shot. So, and then it also needs a headliner, a little bit of body work. This is the worst of the rust here. So we'll get that fixed and we'll get, Gotta get a new fender for it because this is rusting too, so it deserves a little bit more. You guys can see just how clean it is under here. I went through and pressure washed all this, but this is good. The alternator is not gonna work. So here's the belt. Whoops. So there we go. Alright, Parker good. Let's get this thing. Damn the ground kind of sucks here. Oh man. These collars are pretty nice. I like that design. Look at that. There we go. All good. Pop that down. 